So if you're working with a singer and you're asking them to start to recognize certain harmonics or the interaction with the harmonics and the, the formants, yeah. are, are you able to teach them how to hear those things because of the language that you've created? Yeah, so this may surprise some people who either have seen me present or read something that I've read, but I almost never use technology in the teaching studio. I think it's a huge distraction. It's a huge distraction for, for two primary reasons. One, a spectrogram is, a, it's essentially a mirror. You know, mm -hmm. at, like as a piece of technology, it's equivalent to a mirror. And like, would we ever require our students to just sing into a mirror for an entire lesson? and expect that they would get something meaningful just from the act of singing into a mirror. Now, if you say, okay, Liz, I'm teaching you a voice lesson and I'm really curious whether we can cultivate an awareness that on every breath you let go with your lips or something really weird like that. And so maybe I'll give you that directive, like look in the mirror for this and it'll serve its purpose. And then we take the mirror away. We don't sing with mirrors when we perform. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, generally we don't. So I, I think, at its root, like if you have a spectrogram and you want to use it in a lesson, like use it for a specific targeted reason, presuming that the student knows what to look for. So like that, that's the first hurdle. Like I, I'm to the point where I can read spectrograms and like I know what the vowels are and I could even tell the difference in terms of like qualities between like, oh, that's a slightly brighter ah, uh, or that's really, it's morphed to an ah uh, at this point. Like I can, I can just do that because I've been doing it long enough, but that took like a couple of years. And so I would never presume that a student would get something out of looking at a spectrogram. But the other thing is, is it, it takes them out of time. You know, it's like singing is a process that's always about planning the next moment and then the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. Mm -hmm. and, you know, for centuries, people have been writing about this. Like this is not news necessarily and a spectrogram a spectrogram tells you what last seconds sound was and so like just like singing just for the sound of the room singing just for the thing you see on a spectrogram is equally disruptive just to the underlying process of singing